All right. So this is going to be part two to what if Deku had all for one. And uh, real quick, I'm going to get some, you know, uh, some misunderstandings out of the way. So the character um, all for one does exist in this what if because the quirk that Deku has is slightly different in the way that it takes powers. It's similar to how other people in my hero, like multiple people in my hero can have like water based quirks, you know, the ability over water. It's kind of the same way with the ability to take quirks here. So he still exists. Uh, I, you know, I comment, I told people like, how should he be able to take abilities to make it different from uh, all for one? And a lot of people gave me a lot of comments about how he should do it. So, like, I kind of gathered everyone's idea and put it into one. So, Deku would need to touch the person, know what the quirk is, uh, and then want the quirk and have eye contact with that person. So, yeah. That's how you would have to do it. So, let's get into the powers. Because last, uh, last part I asked you guys, you know, what powers should Deku have? But some people didn't really get the context of what I meant because in the video I said that these powers should be from villains, you know, top tier villains from My Hero. Like, uh, well, just in general, right? Because in the story, Deku is actually help, is working with the government to take quirks away from very dangerous people. You know, some people got that, but not uh, um, others didn't. So let's get into the powers because uh, the way that I... I chose these powers were uh, how frequently they were asked in the comments and uh, people's list, how many likes they got. So let's get into most requested to least. And we're just going to go with the seven, the seven powers that he has now. And I'll add an eight later. Uh, I'll add an eight power, eighth power later into this what if. So the most requested power is pyrokinesis. Which is the ability over fire. This was the most commented, you know, power. I don't know why. But I'm just getting everyone's suggestion into... Because um, there's different ways people describe it. People were saying uh, he should have blue fire. Others were saying he has black fire. You know, some people were saying he should be able to make weapons or creatures or... Um, uh, clones. Fire clones. So I'm just going to combine them all into one quirk. And I'll call the quirk like... Prometheus's flames or something like that because you know Prometheus uh, the kind of myth that goes along with him like giving fire to the mortals or humans so I'm not going to give all the quirks names just that one because it makes sense because it's like a wide variety of powers in one but it all has to do with fire so the next one would be black lightning this one or lightning in general that one was commented like I would say the second most and then third would be some muscle alterations and I'll say that because uh, people were telling me that muscular was locked up at this time and since he killed like two heroes his quirk would probably most likely be taken away so he'll have that muscle um, alteration quirk so if you guys have any ideas for like a, un a, a original character for that um, training arc you know how like muscular fights Deku. If you have like an OC you want to put uh, to replace muscular, just tell me at the bottom uh, in the comments below. So yeah. So the fourth power that people really wanted was a mimic quirk slash learning quirk. Something to the point where like he just has to look at someone's fighting style once and he'll remember it. Uh, he's basic. That's basically the ability of the villain uh, Taskmaster, and that's what I'll call the quirk. I'll call it Taskmaster. So we get into the fifth one, and this is Super Regeneration. Okay, I already had that in the last episode, but people wanted it, even though I said he had it. Um, let's get into the sixth one. Some people wanted a time manipulation kind of quirk. Some people wanted it to be like ha having to do with uh, 
just slowing down time and others wanted it to age things rapidly so i'm gonna give a little bit of both so it's gonna be like it's gonna be similar to uh sugar rockies quirk where he disintegrates but it has to do with time so it's not gonna be able to disintegrate everything like things that last for a long time and i'll also give the ability to slow down and i'll call it chronos since it's like named after one of the greek titans uh and then seventh this one was very close to another one and uh it's actually telekinesis so uh the one that was talking before the one that was very close to winning was actually teleportation so since it was very close i'll add it in but he'll get it a little bit later into this story so let's get into the actual what if so it's um you know it's it's in the where we start off is in the week um the week before he actually goes to ua because if you remember there's a week uh there's a week-long period between the letter and actually going to ua so in this week you know he's talking to all might and he tells all might do i have to keep my you know quirk a secret i i really want to you know kind of be myself and all might's kind of shocked by this and he asked Midori like why why do you feel this way and he says well I already told Baku on accident that I have this quirk and he didn't really mind much so I want to kind of see how other people respond and you know All Might says that if people found out they would call you a villain and Deku would be like well I would just have to prove them wrong and All Might's you know he's excited that Deku you know feels this way so he says all right I'll let you if you tell people I'll back you up right I'll give you the endorsement of the number one hero and tell people that you know you're no menace and you're no villain and Deku's pretty happy about this and then this is when the chief of police you know comes through and tells Deku that there's been another case that we need to you know take someone's quirk and you know Deku says I understand they go to uh, the kind of maximum uh, prison that all the villains go to and Aizawa is there since uh, he has the ability to erase quirks and you know Deku's known him for years since he's always kind of been there to help with the process of taking away quirks from villains and you know Aizawa would be like, oh, hey, Midoriya, we got another case. And then Midoriya would ask him, or Deku would ask him, you know, what's his quirk? And, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, Aizawa would say, oh, his quirk is teleportation. You know, this villain would be restrained to this room. I think they would do some, like, some sort of unique path, um, padding to the room so he wouldn't be able to teleport outside the room but he could still teleport within the room so this is where Isaiah Aizawa comes through to actually you know nullify his quirk and, it, and then the cur- the person would be restrained only his you know eyes are visible so Deku would uh, you know touch on the shoulder and then look into his eyes and then this is when he takes his quirk and Deku would tell the person, I'm sorry, but this was necessary since you won't change your ways. And then that person would be in like a uh, kind of, not coma, but like something similar to that. And All Might would be there to kind of cheer up Midoriya. And he would say like, this is necessary because there are people in the world that will never change and will do anything to harm others and Deku would be like yeah I know All Might you don't have to tell me each time I understand and you know this is when Deku actually gets the power teleportation and since he 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 just wants to go home he just uses it to go home so the way that I would say that this teleportation works it would kind of be like it would be kind of like instant transmission where 
you don't have to have been to the place before. You just gotta like kind of know where it's at and kind of feel it. So we get to the uh, first day of UA. So we get through the doors or Deku goes through the doors and he sees Bakugo and Ida. They're both like kind of, you know, Ida's kind of yelling at Bakugo because he has his feet on the uh, on the desk. And Bakugo would try to ignore him. And this is when Uraraka actually comes up behind him and actually says hello. Oh, looks like we're going to be in the same class, Midoriya. And, you know, Deku would turn around kind of uh, nervous and said, oh, hey. And uh, he would introduce himself again, but then he would be like, oh, uh, I guess you already know that. And, you know, they would they would kind of laugh and, you know, he'd be super uh, flustered at this point. And this is when Aizawa comes through and he looks pretty bad since he looks like he hasn't slept for a while and he's in a sleeping bag and people would question like who is this guy and this is when Deku would be like oh hi Aizawa I didn't know you were going to be my homeroom teacher and people would be shocked like how do you know this guy and he would Deku would be like oh we used we worked together um people would be confused like you guys work for the government and he'd be like, yeah, I have the ability to take quirks. And Aizawa, Aizawa would be shocked to hear what Deku just said. And he would like bring him closer with his scarf. He's like, Midoriya, are you sure that's okay? And, you know, uh, Deku would tell Aizawa, it's all right. I got the all clear from All Might to tell people. And everyone would be like, is that even possible? And people would kind of be afraid of him because of this quirk. Uh, Midori would tell the class, like, don't worry. I only take the quirks of very, uh, you know, dangerous criminals. Right? So you have no nothing to worry. So they kind of like, have a sigh of relief and Aizawa kind of backs him up on this like you know you guys shouldn't be afraid of Midoriya I've been working with him since he was six years old I know the kid right he's not a bad guy so they're even more reinsured so they go and they kind of they do the you know Aizawa tells everyone that there's going to be a quirk assessment so they all go to the field they kind of test out their quirks so um for the was it 20 meter dash Deku would get first place because he would teleport to the end because you know so we get to the test of strength Deku would use his muscle uh his muscular quirk that he stole from muscular it's like muscle alteration, I think it's called. I'm not sure. But he would basically get number one in that. For the... The uh, ball throw. Uh, I don't think he would get first place. I think Uraraka would still get first place since... Um, since she got Infinity. And I don't know if I'm going to do a ship in this What If. If you guys want a ship, just tell me down below. But if it's if you if, it, if no one wants it then it won't. Unless you guys want a harem, because I I don't know if I could do that. But let's get get on with uh, the rest of this stuff. I think Deku he would use a combination of you know his muscular quirk and his telekinesis to go you know go past a few cities with the ball. So I think he would get. Overall, he would get first place, but in that ball throw, he would get second. So people are just looking at, like, you know, how he could have multiple quirks. So, I think 
Ida, not Ida, I think Kirishima would go up to Deku and be like, uh, I know that, you know, you've been working so hard since you were a kid working with the government, but how many quirks do you have? And Deku would be like, well, well, since that punishment of taking your quirk is pretty rare, I've only done it eight times. And Kirishima would be like, so you have eight different quirks? Uh, well, technically I have nine since my base one is able to take quirks. So yeah, kind of. And, you know, Kirishima would be kind of surprised and people would, you know, he, they wouldn't be like talking in secret. So everyone would hear this and people would be like, wow, that's amazing. So we get to the hero versus villains. And, uh, you know, it's the same, yeah, I think it'd be the same teams. It'd be Makago and Ida versus Deku and Ochako. Or Ochako, I mean. So, Deku would ask Uraraka, you know, do you want this to be end- ended quickly? Because I could do that. And, you know, she would say, like, uh, sure, just let's see, let's just, let's do our best and see how far, um, how easy we could do this. So, um, what Deku would do is he would try to, like, find where Ida's at. So the fight would go like this, right? Uh, Deku would kind of sense where Ida's at on the top floor. He would teleport there. Ida would see him and go straight for him, right? You're running at him, try to kick him. And Deku would kind of slow down time and kind of observe um, observe how Ida's like moving and fighting. And I think that Deku would be able to move uh, at his normal pace. He's not like restricted by his time, his slowing down time. So he's kind of looking at how his uh, opponent's doing. So he, like, he's just like uh, going around Ida and looking at him. So in Ida's point of view, all he's seeing is like Deku, like going around him, like very fast, in like different angles. It's not he's not even like trying to like dodge. He's just like observing him. And I would say that the slow down time would about would be about like half the speed of normal time so after seeing how Ida fights Deku using his taskmaster quirk would be able to copy it so he would use his muscle uh, uh, you know his muscular quirk right I'll just call it that right and I'm pretty sure it doesn't just affect your you know upper body I'm pretty sure it affects your legs too so he would use the same quirk or he, he would use the same fight, fighting style as Ida. And Ida would be confused. Because after just a, you know, a few seconds. He was able to copy it. And his kicks are a lot stronger. So Ida's at a disadvantage. And you know Bakugo is hearing all this. So he runs up to the you know, top floor. And I don't know what uh, you know, Deku's like, costume would be. Um, since he does like All Might, but I think at this point, since he's been around him for so long, I don't think he'd idolize him that much. So you guys can tell me, you know, uh, how his costume should be, and then I'll draw it. Uh, I'll, I'll draw it if I have enough time. I'll draw it, and in the next part, we'll see it. So we get to the point where, uh, you know, Bakugo goes and runs up there. And he's like seeing Deku kind of fight Ida. And Ida's kind of like getting hurt because his uh, Deku's kicks are more, more uh, forceful. And the reason why he doesn't just teleport and, you know, touch the bomb. He wants to kind of humanize himself because he wants to see that he's also struggling. So he doesn't want to make people seem that he's like too overpowered and he's, he can't get enough focus since he has to fight 
Uh, but then you could be like, well, why doesn't he slow down time? Yeah, at this point, since he doesn't really, he's not used to using multiple quirks at once. He can still do it, but it's very hard for him. Uh, since he has to put a lot of focus, it's hard for him to teleport while using like something like a slow down ability or the ability to slow down time. So, after Bakugo was in, he come, Bakugo would come in and try to explode him. So, what Deku would do is that he would kind of use his telekinesis to make like a barrier to block out uh, Bakugo's kind of like blast. You guys can tell me in the in the comments how strong uh, this telekinesis should be. So, because I don't know, because we could do like you know kind of the weaker end of like telekinesis or we could do like very i don't want to do like very high tier telekinesis like in like they have in mob cycle because i think that would just make him too overpowered if you guys understand what i mean you know deku put in a position where he's fighting two people i think he would use his promethean flame quirk to make kind of uh fire clones of himself to kind of fight off ida and bakugo they wouldn't have the quirks as Deku unless you guys want them to. But I don't think they should have them. But they would still know the fighting style. Like every fighting style that Deku would would have learned, he would have they would have known it too. So as they're kind of like I think he'd be able to make like hundreds of clones. Around around a hundred clones, I think. But they wouldn't have that much durability to them. Maybe like two or three explosions could take him out, like a, a single one. So Deku would kind of swarm him, and when the, the sh while they're distracted, I think he would actually go and um, you know, uh, kind of take him out. He would he would basically go and touch the bomb and with that being done he would actually win so we get to the point where everyone's like you know looking at this and he's like wow Midoriya is pretty overpowered and you know Midoriya and everyone else would go and meet up with the rest of the class and you know he uh, when they're there he would I think he would shake Ida's hand and said you know, you did pretty well, and your fighting style's very unique, and, you know, pretty good. You know, I've never really fought anyone with that uses mostly their legs. And Ida would be, you know, he would take the compliment, and everyone would see this, and see that he's not, you know, a bad guy. So, I think that people would respect him more, and All Might would see this, and he would know that people, you know, know of um Midoriya's true quirk you know plunder you know people were you know people some people got in some other people didn't but plunder is actually a reference to Charlotte the anime and I got a comment for uh you know you should change the name of his quirk to all in one and I was thinking about that and I was like I'll just make that his hero name so yeah so All Might's kind of happy to see that you know, Midoriya is actually making friends. And, you know, we get to the point where uh, they're choosing class representatives. And I think Deku might win. And I think number two would be Ida. Since he got more of a showing in this one than he does in the anime. And I don't want to keep on giving Momo the second spot. So... Both of them are very, you know, they're pretty excited to work with each other. Um, you know, Ida trusts Deku, and Deku trusts Ida. So it's a good relationship between them. So, um, you know, we get to the next, or we get later on to that day. I don't think Bakugo would, you know, do that thing where he tries to leave Yue, but, you know, later on, um, All Might would, 
you know, talk with um, Midoriya about, you know, are you sure you made the right decision, you know, telling everyone, and Deku, uh, you know, they're at that beach at night, uh, and Deku would be like, yeah, I think I did, and I don't, like, I think, uh, he would ask Deku, like, is there any people in the class that you think is worthy of one for all? And Deku's like, I'm not sure yet. I gotta think about it. So you guys can tell me who do you want Deku or who do you want All Might to give all for one for? Um, or one for all, I mean. So you guys can tell me in the comments. Uh, we're pretty close to like 400 subscribers at this point. So I'll end this here. If you guys, let's say, let's pick a, a light goal, right? If this video could you know get let's say 50 likes within you know the first day of it being uploaded i'll make part three tomorrow so yeah you know remember to like comment subscribe um so yeah if this is one of my uh you know fastest growing series like over two thousand almost two almost two thousand views in like a few days which is crazy you know there were so many comments on the last video over a hundred in a few in like the first two days you know everyone's commenting on that video people really liked it very much appreciate all the views and all the you know attention and love that that video is getting you know i like interacting with my fans you know the little you know the small amount of fans that i do have i do like you know seeing everyone's suggestions and i do you know take them into account when making these kind of stories so i don't think i'm going to do a subscriber special for 300 but maybe 500 or 400 if i have time and if i have a good idea because right now i don't and right now i'm just kind of doing the what if series that i have now if you guys have any other animes you want me to do what ifs about then i'll do those too like I did a Jojo one. If you guys any if you guys want more Jojo like what is or even other animes like maybe Dragon Ball, then I'm willing to do those. So we're almost at uh, you know 400. So like, comment, subscribe, and this is in the video. So yeah.